you get through the first year, so I want to get your feelings, not exactly after the last game with South Bay. And it was a game that you were had a chance to win that game late, but you know, maybe hours or a few days later, what were the things that you were thinking about the accomplishments that you made throughout last season? Well, it took about a week to get refreshed and restarted after the last game last year and just uh, started preparing, start preparing on plays and sets and start looking at summer league rosters. And from that moment on, it was just about how we could have a better year two. And it started about a week after the last game of uh, last year when we played South Bay. So when you're developing players, and what's the most challenging aspect of, of developing players? And is, is, is it you getting, getting them to, to find themselves, or is it you trying to you know, learn about who or they are? You know, I try to do a good job of being with them in the summertime to kind of find out who they are. Um, when they get here, you know, they just kind of hit the ground running. And I think, you know, once we get them bought in to just playing together, you know, I think once everybody comes to the minor leagues, the G League, they're trying to look for numbers for themselves. But once you get them bought in to playing the right way and playing together, that's when you get the most call-ups and the most successful uh, season possible. So that's what we're looking to have. What about the assistant coaches and, and what – things that you can do as a head coach to develop Ronaldo and Therian and Nate and, and what they can do to help this organization? Well, you already could tell just from this year, there's been a big jump in their uh, development and, you know, just their progression of their career where they're at right now. So, you know, I'm proud of how they've come along and what they've been able to do. And uh, just going into year two, I'm just more comfortable with having them be able to, you know, do different roles and delegate stuff to them. So, you know, that's a perfect mixture between us and them, That between myself and, and the assistants, that, that just makes a great staff. And then are, does that come back around, and did they give you some things to build upon as well? Yeah, for sure. You know, we all got feedback from each other. Um, we all were in the grind of it last year. You know, things didn't work the way we wanted them to, but, you know, we tried to come together and, and see how we could get better. What have you been able to, to take into year two? And, and you mentioned summer league and, and being able to get to know the players a lot better. W was that a little bit better launching position, do you think? Yeah, for sure. We were able to get a little bit started a little bit early this year where, you know, a few guys coming in here working out before training camp. And uh, we just felt like we got a better jump off this year than we did last year. You know, so that's a plus for us. And hopefully we could take that into this new season and use that as an advantage of ours. But, uh, you know, it's 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 all the G League. It's, it'll be here before you know it. We're just excited about it. So opening night, what are we going to see? We're going to see a team that plays hard. You know, uh, we didn't really get a chance to have a preseason game, so it'll be our first real competition against another team. But one thing we've seen in training camp is guys playing extremely hard at a high level. So I know we'll see a team that's playing hard and competing very hard. All right. Thanks, Coach. Good Th luck. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it.